Sample problem. A softball has a mass of 360 grams and a volume of 270 centimeters cubed. Find its density. First steps that I always recommend you doing, and, and you're going to get marks based on the steps that I'm going to show you. Always list your units. List what you're given. Okay, so list all your givens. So, I saw, so read it once, okay? Read it a second time and try to pinpoint information that you're given. A softball has a mass of 360 grams. So just because I've circled it doesn't mean we don't list it. So M is equal to 360 grams. Let's continue reading. And a volume of 270 centimeters cubed. So that is my volume, 270 centimeters cubed. Find its density. So the unknown is D. We're trying to find D. So let's start off with our pyramid. We've got our pyramid. So D, M, V. Which one has the question mark? The one that has the question mark is the one that I'm going to cross out. So what did I just cross out? I just crossed out D. So that's what I'm trying to find. D is equal to M is on top of V. So I have M over V. Now I just go about substituting these numbers into my equation. So there's my mass. Here's my volume. So instead of writing M and V, I'm writing the actual M, which is 360 grams. My V is 270 centimeters cubed. So notice the units. The units do not cancel out. So the units we're going to have are the two sets of units, grams per centimeters cubed. And we know that density is a ratio of our mass, right? Mass over volume. So when we divide them, we get D is equal to 1.333, and it pretty much repeats itself, grams per centimeters cubed. Now, based on a uh, previous chapter, you are required to solve your answers based on uh, significant digits. Now, let's look at the number of significant digits that we have in our question. So our first number that we used was 360 grams. 360 has two significant digits. 270 also has two significant digits, which means when we're multiplying or dividing, our answer must have the same number of significant digits as the least number of significant digits in my question. So really, I, I don't have much choice. Two significant digits are the least number of significant digits in my question. So I want the one, the point, three. So I have two significant digits, a one and a three, which means I don't need any of these. But before I, I just stop and give my number, I always look at the number that I'm immediately dropping after the line I've drawn. If that number is a five or greater, then I round it up. If not, then I keep the number as is. So my density is equal to 1.3 grams per centimeters cubed. So you know how in some questions we ask you round off to one decimal place or two decimal places? You need to use the rules for significant digits. So the significant digits rules, if you don't remember them, go back and, um, and rewatch that lesson or go through your notes. Now, because it is a word problem, there is one last step. Your last step is your therefore problem. So therefore, what was the question? Find its density. Therefore, the density, right? That's what we needed to find. What is the object that we needed to find the density of? Therefore, the density of the softball is 1.3 grams per centimeters cubed. So here's where the marking scheme will come. One mark for listing. A second mark for substituting with the units. A third mark for your correct answer rounded off correctly. And a fourth mark for your statement. If you don't include any one of these uh, steps, you lose that mark. So if you didn't list this, and you answer the rest of the question, you won't get these marks. 
So you'll get three out of four, even though you've got a perfect answer. So please make sure you go through all those steps. So list, substitute, round off accordingly with the units. Don't forget units. And a final statement. In the final statement, what did you, what were you asked to find? What was the object that was uh, in question? And then your final answer also rounded off accordingly. Let's look at one more sample problem. Sample problem. The density of nickel is 8.9 grams per centimeters cubed. What is the mass of nickel if the volume is 48 centimeters cubed of nickel? So, first step, we read it once, we read it again. The density of nickel is 8.9 grams per centimeters cubed. That is my D. What is the mass of nickel? That's what the question we're asked. If the volume is 48 centimeters cubed. So let's list. So we've got my list. And my list is D is equal to 8.9 grams per centimeters cubed. We've got V is equal to 48 centimeters uh, cubed. Doesn't matter the list, the order that you put them. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's also really important to make sure you include what you're trying to find. Because when we go to the pyramid, the one that you label with your question mark, that is the letter we are crossing out. So we're trying to find M, cross out M in your pyramid. We have D next to V. So what we were trying to find, well we were trying to find mass. Mass is equal to density times volume. So we've already gotten our one mark here. Our next mark is going to be when I substitute these okay, into my equation. So mass is equal to density, which is 8.9 grams per centimeters cubed. Don't forget the units. Times the volume, which is 48 centimeters cubed. Now, because this is per centimeters cubed, Centimeters cubed crosses out. Look at my units for mass. So it's really important that you know how to use the units as well. So when we multiply those two, we get the following answer for mass. We get 427.2 grams. But now, we go back. How many digits do I need to round this answer off to? I look at my question. I have two significant digits and two significant digits in my question. So the least number of significant digits in my question is two. So which means I need the four and the two. Before I just take it, I gotta look at this number here. And that number is greater than five. So that, that seven is gonna change the two to a three. But now, if I stop there, my answer went from being 427.2 to 43. Because we got rid of the rest of this, we need to include one more place value. Because remember, the four is in the hundreds column. The two is in the tenths column. And the seven is in the ones column. So we want to make sure that those numbers are in the right column in our final answer. So our answer is 430 grams. Okay, round it off correctly. And then because we need a statement, because it is a word problem, so it's a therefore statement. What was the object? Nickel. What were we trying to find? We're trying to find the mass. So therefore, the mass of nickel is 430 grams. And there is your final mark. So let's go through the mark. So we got one mark for that, a second mark for substituting, don't forget the units, a third mark for rounding it off correctly, and a fourth mark for your therefore statement. Make sure that you're in order to get the marks for the therefore statement. What were you trying to find? What was the object? What was the final answer rounded off correctly? If you have any questions, please send me an email um, or uh, just stop by um, the science office uh, anytime after school to uh, discuss any of this, these matters.